Using the crew exploration vehicle, we will undertake extended human missions to the moon as early as 2015, with the goal of living and working there for increasingly extended periods of time. But I, I, I just have to say, uh, pretty bluntly here, we've been there before. There's a lot more of space to explore and a lot more to learn when we do. We will then be ready to take the next steps of space exploration, human missions to Mars, and to worlds beyond. A journey to another planet, a manned mission to Mars. Now, last month, we launched a new spacecraft as part of a re-energized space program that will send American astronauts to Mars. It marks an important step in returning American astronauts to the moon for the first time since 1972 for long-term ex exploration and use. This time, we will not only plant our flag and leave our footprint, we will establish a foundation for an eventual mission to, to Mars. Mars and perhaps someday to many and to worlds, worlds beyond. beyond. This Astronauts moving in slow motion is another hallmark of the Apollo TV footage. There is no evidence at all of any astronaut making a leap or a jump anywhere near a height commensurate with one sixth G possibilities. But if they were actually simulating EVAs on Earth, they would then need help with their bulky heavyweight suits and backpacks in order to achieve the visual effect of moving around easily in lunar gravity. So enter wire supports. Confirmation that wires were used is in the detail. Here in this Apollo 14 footage, you can see a ping, a momentary glint. And again, run slowly. And once more. There are other examples too. This one is from Apollo 17 during the flag scene. You can see the ping at the top of the frame. In this footage from Apollo 16, we have telltale evidence of a slightly floating or dangling effect at the jump salute location. It's as if the weight is being taken off the astronaut's feet just a second or so too soon. Compare that sequence with an obvious rehearsal rig. The dangling effect is very evident. And here again, from the same mission, Apollo 16, we have an astronaut who is about to get up. Give me a hand. Okay, here we go. Let me give you a hand, he says. Look at it again. The astronaut is getting up with the wire taking the weight, relieving him of five-sixths of the Earth's gravity. A magic trick? No, just the help of a wireman. This is a slow motion jump that would have been seen live on TV. And here it is at normal speed. The well-rehearsed, pre-recorded material was apparently slowed down by 50% when we saw it on TV. And yes, we've done the necessary work to establish that percentage.